Well, folks, the mailman is looking at some big money troubles. The U.S. Postal Service is expected to lose $8.3 billion this year alone, and it has to pay $5.5 billion each year in retiree pensions. And they've already laid off 100,000 workers, but that is not enough. So what is the solution? Perhaps to cut mail service to three days a week or cut postal pensions. For a fair and balanced debate right now, we are joined by labor attorney Joseph Collada and money manager and chairman of the National Eagles and Angels Association, George Jar Jar uh, Jarasi. Did I do that right? Jarkasi. Jarkasi. Yeah, Jarkasi. Yes, Talk thanks. Thank you very much, George, for joining us live. George, you say uh, the uh, postal service should be privatized and we wouldn't have this problem. Well, I think when you're doing this debate, what you have to do is first look at the lives of people. There's 560,000 jobs at the post office. Uh, they're the second largest private sector employer in the country. Um, so as we have this debate, we got to think about those people uh, uh, there. Absolutely. But, Joe, you say that uh, to limit the post office would be dangerous to our Constitution? It is. This idea of regulating the post office to three days a week is an absurd notion. Uh, the creation of the post office is rooted in Article 1, Section 8 of the United States Constitution, which has been interpreted to mean there shall be only one post office, which means no one else can deliver mail. In essence, a de facto monopoly. So the question really is not whether it should be limited to three days a week, but rather why has the post office delegated its duties to private companies such as FedEx, such as UPS? Very few Fortune 500 companies voluntarily relinquish market share or create competitors when they don't have to. This can be a viable entity. Yeah, but, you know, Joe, right now we do have, uh, you know, FedEx and UPS. They all deliver the mail. So it's like that ship has already sailed. But, but George, really what we're facing right now is a decision. Do we want to continue with a service five days a week or do we need to do something about those uh, uh, retiree benefits like pensions and health care? Well, I thought, think what you've got to look at is you've got a monopoly already that doesn't pay taxes that's expected to lose $240 billion over the next 10 years. And that's a serious problem. It's got to be addressed. It does. Joe? Well, this is a, a, an entity that is almost the largest employer in the United States, almost 600,000 individuals with a built-in client base of tens of millions of people, with really that they have to use it. We need to appoint a trustee. We need to get the smartest business minds in America. This is a broken corporation. It can be fixed. It can be viable. Putting tens of thousands of postal workers on the street is not the answer. Let's call it stimulus. Let's keep them employed. Give Give them paychecks, have those paychecks go back into our economy, keep the system going round and round. It is a viable entity that can be fixed. Well, it is. It takes up a lot of dough, though, doesn't it, George? Yeah, it does. And, and, I, and I agree with what Joe's saying. But what I think you got to do is hold it up long enough to privatize it. This organization needs to be run like a business and being strung out by our government, by Congress on decisions um, it, it has, has hurt this organization. Okay. This organization needs to be run by people that want to make money with it, uh, not, not just get by. All right. Uh, George Jarkarsi, uh, we thank you very much for joining us from Houston and Joseph thank you. Uh, Collada. Thank us. you. Here in the studio.